Hey everyone, this is Jenny from Homestead Corner, and today we're back in the kitchen making dill zucchini pickles. Okay, to get started, this is really simple. I'm just going to take my tops and tails off. You want to make sure you get that blossom end off. That will make it soft. So you want to make sure you get rid of those. And I'm going to spear these today because we like them. Well, we like both. We like the chips and we like the speared. So I'll probably do a little of both. On the smaller ones, I like to make them the size that are going to fit my jar. So that's about going to be fill up to the top of my jar because I'm going to use pint and a half jars. So I'm just going to spear these up and if there's any that are too short I'll just slice them so we've got a little bit of chips and some spears. So this is very simple and I'm going to keep cutting and bring you back. So once I have these all sliced, I just cover them in water. When you push them down, you want them to be under the water. Um, they do float, so you're not going to be able to keep them under unless you put a weight on it, but this is how I do it. I'm going to toss these in the fridge. I'm going to cover them, toss them in the fridge, and let them stay in there for probably an hour or two. It just helps a little bit with the crispiness. So while the zucchini are cooling down in the refrigerator, uh, soaking in their water bath, I am just going to start heating up my jars because I want these nice and hot. We're gonna let them boil for 10 minutes and then I'm also gonna start getting everything together. So now we're gonna get our brine together. And I've started with five cups of water in here and I have three and a half cups of white vinegar and a cup and a half of white wine vinegar. You can do all five cups of white distilled vinegar. You could do this any way. You could do half and half. You could do it any way you want. Um, this is the mixture that I like for us. And then we're going to add two tablespoons of salt. Then four tablespoons of pickling spice. And I just buy this at the health food store. They have it all mixed up for you. Or you can mix it yourself. It's really not that hard. You like a lot in there. You could definitely cut this down. And we, I'm going to add one and a half tablespoons of just regular sugar. Not too much. You could cut the sugar out. I like it just a little bit. And we're going to put this on the stove and bring it up to a rolling boil. Okay, so boil. once your brine is boil, comes to a rolling boil, it is ready. So I am just going to take my jars out of the canner. I like to just take two at a time so they stay nice and hot. And I'm using a pint and a half jars. You can do this for pints or quarts. But because we're in the middle, we're going to go up to the quart time. So I just start by packing my jars with the zucchini. Oh, I'm going to put a little piece of dill in here. A sprig of dill. We want a little bit of dill so these are nice and yummy. If you don't have fresh dill, you can add um, a little bit of dill weed if you want that dill flavor. <clears throat> but we're just going to pack the jars and I just kind of tip them. They're a little warm. And we're going to slide our spears right in there, as many as we can fit. You want them kind of tight. And we'll just slip those right. Oh, it's not going in. 
There, there we go. One more, maybe one more. Let's see, can we get it in there? Yes. All right, so I've got that nice and tight, and then I'm gonna add one clove of garlic to the top, and about a, a little more than an eighth of the pickle crisp, and I'm gonna put that right on the top. And that is just gonna help keep these nice and crispy. And then I'm just gonna fill this with our brine. Just fill it right up. You want to leave at least a half inch of headspace here because these will start to boil in the canner. Okay, and once we have that full, I'm just going to take my my little debubbler and we're going to make sure there are no bubbles in here. I'm going to get those out so you can get your headspace adjusted right so they will seal good. So we're just going to add a tiny bit more brine. There was a little bit of bubbles in there. There we go. And then I like to use vinegar to clean the tops of my jars. You can use hot water. Just want to make sure this is super clean. I like just some plain old white vinegar. That does the trick. Oh, get out of there, seed. And then we're going to add a clean. I like to warm up my lids. Ball says you don't have to do it anymore. But I'm old school and that's how I do it. So everything is super hot. The lid's hot, the food, everything is hot. The liquid, the jar. And then once I have this full, I'm going to put it right back into the water bath canner and keep filling jars. So again, I'm just going to put a piece of dill, pack in our zucchini spears. This one is stuck. I need to make sure they're cut all the way apart. Sometimes I get excited. And... It's short. Got a couple shorties here. You just shake it a little bit. You can usually get one more in there. Once you think it's full, you can usually slide one more in. Get that in there. And then again, a clove of garlic and a little more than an eighth of a teaspoon of the pickle crisp. And then we're going to fill jars. Fill her up! going to debubble. Make sure everything gets moved around in there. I like to, I want stick it up a little. I'll make sure it's underneath. And then we're going to wipe with our vinegar. Make sure that lid is clean, the rim. And then grab a fresh lid. And a ring and off to the canner it goes. So I'm just going to keep filling jars and I will bring you back. So we're just going to do the exact same thing with the chips that we cut, the slices. We're going to pack those right in the jar. They have a piece of dill in there and we're just going to, that way the canner is full and we've got some of each and I really like that. I like like having a little different varieties. It's the same pickle, but you can use them for different things. And the kids love the spears. And 
So I mix it up the best I can. Okay, so we have our eight pint and a half jars here in the water bath canner. They're covered over with about an inch and a half of boiling of water. It will be boiling. We're bringing it up to a boil. Once it starts boiling, I'm gonna process these for 15 minutes like they were quarts because they're pint and a half jars. If they were pints, I would only do it for 10 minutes. So we're gonna bring these up to a boil and get them processed. There you have it, zucchini pickles. They're super easy, they're delicious. My kids love them, we love them. You can adjust the recipe, more garlic, less garlic, more dill, less dill. I love pickle recipes because you can really tailor it to what you like. So this is it, it's super simple. 15 minutes in the water bath and they're done. I'm gonna let these cool overnight and in the morning, I will remove the rings and lay, clean up the jars and label them and off to the pantry they go. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.